I think I, I hadn't long started on, on, on Doctor Who, I think. I'm not quite sure how long we've been doing it, but certainly I, I was fairly new to it. The first I knew about it was John, suggest, John said, oh, we need to do a promo for Australia and, uh, and New Zealand for the new series. Uh, and I said, OK, fine. And he set aside a time. And then he said that uh, we're going to be doing it in Trafalgar Square, which I remember thinking was a bit, you know, why are we doing that? It's quite a big setup. Because uh, they, you know, they wanted to have the TARDIS and they wanted to have us coming out of the TARDIS and saying something like, um, Hi Australia, I hope you're looking forward to our series. <laughs> um, and of course they'd set the TARDIS up uh, in the middle of Trafalgar Square and there was a huge crowd around it, which I hadn't, you know, I hadn't kind of, I, I suppose if I think about it logically, it was bound to be, you know, you put the TARDIS up anywhere in, in, in uh, certainly this country and you're going to get a crowd of people that are gathered around it. No, I don't think I did have any idea, because I do remember, as I walked towards the TARDIS, uh, the companions sort of came out, I think they came out first, I can't remember, mm -hmm. and then Eamon came out, and I remember like the world, it's the weirdest reaction, it's the weirdest feeling, because the world almost, it almost starts to spin, because it's such an incongruous thing. There's no way I was thinking, uh, 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 that Eamon Andrews was about to step out of the TARDIS. It was very, very, it was a very weird feeling. It's, it's almost like being transferred to another planet. You're not, you know, you, your, your day is worked out. Uh, um, you think you're going to be doing this, you're going to be doing that, you're going to be doing a quick uh, 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 promo to uh, uh, Australia, and then you'll be going home, you know, uh, uh, um, and have a nice dinner, or whatever. Uh, and suddenly, the whole world goes like that. And, um, it's almost. I think. I think what I was thinking was, hang on, he's walking out there. Is this? Is this me? This is about. I, I can't think what else I was thinking. I don't know. I remember being. Um, I remember being sort of put into a car and taken to the theatre, which was not far away. Uh, and then just you're put in a room, and your clothes are there. There's a change of clothes. I wish I could have chosen my clothes, but anyway, uh, <laughs> the, clothes, the clothes are there, sitting on the, uh, um, uh, a chair, uh, and you're basically not allowed out. You're not allowed out. You're literally locked in the, I think, I'm not sure if I, I think I tried the door, but I think they just said, do not move. You know, this, you have to stay here. Everything is, you know. the one memory, one very, very uh, 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 strong memory I have is of Eamon, Eamon came to see me. And he said to me, uh, now, don't, don't worry about things. Everything's going to be absolutely fine. And I, I just handle everything. You just have to sit there, have a nice time, very bad. Uh, 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 um, he said, but don't, don't, don't worry about anything at all. I, I'm just going to take uh, uh, you know, complete in, in charge and relax. And then I remember in the pro when I was doing the program, I just looked up at him. And I have never seen a human being more nervous in my life. He was, he was sweating buckets, he was going, mm, I thought, I, this is the man who just told me to relax. <laughs> it was surprising the, the people they got, I mean, to have my old headmaster. But Mr Barnes, that was quite impressive to get him. I think he'd actually tried me to get me thrown out of the school. Uh, uh, so it was, quite, it was quite impressive for actually turn off on this in your life. Uh, and uh, I was aware particularly when um, my my family had to speak how incredibly uncomfortable they were because <laughs> uh, um, I think they were all given a line. It was very obvious to me that they'd all been given a line to say and uh, uh, a lot of them were very good actors. <laughs> it was nice when people come on and your, your, your peers, you know, and people like uh, Robert Hardy come on and actually the people the people from the tax office were nice. I, I really liked that because I they had, I'd gone to work in the tax office and I'd been completely unemployed and um, it was nothing to do with me being successful or anything. They just they were just nice kind of you know people who worked there. There were a couple of people who were there at the party who hadn't managed to get on the program. Uh, so the party was almost even more enjoyable than the uh, uh, the actual show because you got to talk. You also got to talk to people. With, uh, and then, then you start to get, you start to hear about uh, all the uh, um, the stuff that went on behind the scenes, and it is just kind of fascinating.
the stress of everyone keeping secrets, I think Sandra found it very difficult uh, uh, because also they were ringing up all the time and uh, uh, um, uh, they wanted to do this, wanted to do that, and she was very adamant that they didn't, they shouldn't be doing that. And um, my one of my sisters had first of all said she didn't want to say anything. She didn't want to say anything. And then at the dress run, apparently, had then decided she did want to say something. And she burst into tears because she was the only one in the family who then wasn't saying something. So then the thing had to be, I mean, it must have been, it must have been hell. I was so happy I was the subject of it and not involved in the actual uh, uh, research part of it. So they wanted to have, um, they wanted to have Beryl Reed as the, as the final guest because she was a well-known face. She was very popular uh, and she was quite funny. Um, but uh, Sandra, who I was married to at the time, said, well, I, he doesn't know Beryl Reed." Um, and I think other people had said that as well. He, she was simply someone who had happened to be uh, in Doctor Who um, uh, uh, that, that season. But she meant nothing to me. It would have been ludicrous for them to, to, to bring on Beryl Reed as the final guest. And, and, and indeed, as it turned out, it didn't look like Beryl Reed even knew, knew who I was, actually. And I think, and indeed, uh, Sandra won the battle of getting uh, uh, my auntie Olga to come on last, who, who, you know, I'd always had, it was true, I'd always had a kind of soft spot for and, you know, uh, uh, um, liked a lot. So that, that was, I guess, quite, quite good. I think there were many moments, if I, if I dissect, the, the weeks leading up to it, which were a bit odd, but you somehow don't, you don't really sort of question it. Sometimes life is a bit odd, uh, but there, so there were certainly there were meetings and there were long phone calls, and I didn't really get suspicious about any of it because I thought she was she was quite busy anyway. It was it was it was nice, but I you know I knew I was there not because I'd achieved a vast amount in terms of uh, 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 even the acting profession. I was there because I was it was um, you know I was Doctor Who. I, I never thought going on in anyone uh, else's show was about oh, celebrating what an amazing achievement. I certainly don't think that about mine. It was way too early. It was ridiculously early. Um, as I said, uh, uh, it was in the same season that Douglas Bader was on, you know. <laughs> if you put the two of us together, it really doesn't make any sense at all. It's slightly wacky. Uh, it was a very nice evening. Um, and it was quite fun because I, 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 Amy made me laugh with this incredible nervousness and telling me to relax. Uh, 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 but I wasn't a party to the whole build-up, which I think probably overall, if you were to ask my sisters and my family and Sandra if she thought it was worth it, they probably wouldn't think it was. I don't know, there was lots of battles that were going on prior to it. And, but what, all I saw was the good bits.